And now, the continuation. Okay, so I'll be honest with you. I actually went online and checked on what the hell I need to do. Apparently, we need to prove heresy to that dude over there. And I thought that page number three would be enough. But no. Apparently, there's a podium here. Somewhere here. And I have the podium key. And he needs all parts of the diary for him to... What the fuck is a podium? Damn you, English! I honestly have no clue what a podium is. Now I know what a podium is! Yeah, now apparently he needs all chapters to be convinced, and now we have all three chapters. Let's read it. I have finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage to see the Hand of Jude draws close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. The Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in our world. If the blight of witchcraft, if the blight of witchcraft present in this world, then I doubt it's in Amiens. Do I have all the pages? I have all the pages. Sorry about that. This is the first time I actually checked the guide. I, I usually um, refrain from using any kind of guide when playing and I haven't at all in this game this is the first time because I was stuck for around 20 minutes just running around like an idiot not understanding what to do and fearing that my game might have been bugged but no it's just my brain that was bugged that kind of sounds disgusting if you think about it so sorry and it will not happen again I still think that killing him would have been the easier option, but what do I know? I'm just a bald monk that's been, you know, accused of murder. Brother Andrew suspected Augustine all along. I managed to find remnants of his journal, and it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside the cathedral. Aye. The cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to ask. Was Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well, claiming that the sacred relic, the hand of Jude, was stored here. He had those who came to see it murdered. The hand of Jude never existed. Oh. And with that realization, the trap closes, brother. My days here are numbered. I awoke to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn. It can only mean one thing. I know too much, and they are moving to silence me. I can only hope that what little faith I have left is enough to save my soul. Please. Take this thing away from Want me. Want me to stab you with it? Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther. Well, that sucks. For that's all you have. I have two-handed sword. Can stab a bitch. Wait, what? No! Satan's behind you! I wonder, is he dead already? What? Was he Satan? Was he luring me or did Satan kidnap him? I, I can't tell. That's what's so good about this game. All options remain open. Also, my shield is now bitching. Oh, hi. That's how you know that you made progress. New mob spawn. Okay, let me execute you. Or mince you, whatever he does. Whoa, bone thief. Sorry, monkey. Now let's go back to that grave place and see if we can use the dagger on it because honestly that's the only place left that we have not uh, discovered. Probably unlocks that door. 
Also, damn it, my English failed me. It would have been obvious if I checked the podium. I didn't know what a podium was. I thought it was some, some sort of area, you know? Oh, well. These things happen. It's not to anyone else, but they happen to me, apparently. This weapon is kind of awesome. No! No, 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 stay away from me, stay away from me! No! That was stupid, I should have snuck around them. I thought I could outrun them. Oh, what a waste of time this uh, Twilight Zone was. Hi, you know what? Keep it. It's my gift to you! Because I finally know what to do. Sucker. Hopefully there are no million mobs over here like last time. Nope. Where? I honestly did not see you. Did he move his head? He did! I'm not crazy! See? That was brilliantly implemented though, seriously. That really was brilliantly implemented. I thought I was going crazy for a moment. You're not stealing my bones, bitch! Hmm, I wonder if he was inside that. Oh. Okay, maybe this would be a good place to save. What is this? Paul's progress port is blocked by a corrosive spell. Obviously someone wants to keep intruders at bay and this lethal magic is just the way to do it. Oh, let me guess. I have to dispel it, but my dispel spell is not strong enough, so I'll need to use Paragon. For dispel, what do I need? Nethlek Redgormore. Nethlek Redgormore. Uh, Nethlek Redgormore. Netlick Redgumor Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I am so smart, oh my god, I'm like a genius. Uh-huh, so it apparently dispelled my shield as well. That That's pretty smart. But it will not do at all. Is it just me or does Shatogra sound the most satanic and evil? What on earth? Who are you? Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian, Paul's only ally in his fight against the darkness. His soul no doubt lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken. Watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse, feeling all hope escape him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone! Alone against the darkness! And against the cutscene. You are a clever man, Brother Luther. Wanting answers to clarify your new position fugitive. You seek them out, and this is what you find. <laughs> Tell me, what does a man such as yourself pious, of course. think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy, when he finds the very source of corruption? I think of irony. Irony of what you masquerading as a member of the Inquisition stand for, and that you stand for evil. 
Evil. Evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Chaturga. Chaturga. Come, my children. Feast on this morsel. And let us return to our preparation. That's disgusting. I'm not a morsel. You can't kill me. Really? But I've killed like a dozen of these guys. In this mission, why, why do you think that these are going to be enough to end me? Seriously, Pius, you're so incompetent. All you do is gloat, 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 and then you don't do anything. Just kill me yourself. What a douche nozzle. He's really absent minded, too. I wonder if I should check if they killed him. Nah, just go through this door. Oh, hi, Paul. Uh, Luther, whatever. I'm even heading in the right direction. This door is decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing the immense evil behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the monk had mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Yes! Let's go in! Whoa! That's where that room is! Um, there's a big dog monster thing that's probably going to eat your brains. This is kind of eerily serene. And pretty. That looks like a parrot. You're fine, Luther. It's just Satan's guardians. You broke the floor. Leave the rest to the imagination. This is the one that seeks to do combat with me. Um, no. Your task, my liege and greater guardian, is to guard this place. Do not worry about this worm. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. Or not. That was... That is... That is disgusting. If I am to guard this place, then I will do it as I see fit. Be gone. Poor Paul! Uh, Luther, why do I keep calling him Paul? Seriously, that's so sad. Such a sad ending. Poor guy. That was disgusting, too. <sighs> a note from Edward. My dearest Alex, I am glad that you have followed my paper trail thus far. I knew I could depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. What? What? Are there 88 keys? Uh, 
I really don't know. Let's look around the place. Let's see what changed. That stupid book is flying. I saw it. God damn it, book. There we go. Uh, is there anything in here? I thought there was an item over there. Oh, there's a rat that startled me. I thought it was a scorpion. The Scorpion King! Where the hell am I going to find 88 keys in this place? This is not Zelda after all. What? What? Seeing the piano is still... What? Wait, what? I couldn't do this before. A Paul Luther story in Alex's mind. The echoes of these notes within the cathedral echo. <gasps> Could the 88 keys be the piano keys? Um, that seems... Okay. A, B, Y, X, B, Y, A. I don't know the buttons on the GameCube controller. A hidden page, yeah! Ah, uh, the Forbidden City, that looks horrible. That's, that's gonna suck, isn't it? That was a stroke of luck, honestly. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you? So... Can see me in my true form. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Ew. What kind of suffering? Oh well. Well, we have the next. Uh the next chapter in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. And that was a really lucky stumble, by the way. This is just weird. In any case, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.